And now in this video, I want to talk about the data, the Instagram story analytics. And there is a lot of data available when you post Instagram stories and swipe up on your stories. All of this data is available on these two icons, the bars and then who number of people who have viewed your stories. So you do need Instagram business account to be able to access the Instagram story analytics. Now, what I use this data for and my strong recommendation is do look at the data, do not ignore it and make better decisions for your future Instagram story content. For example, if your goal was to use Instagram stories to drive traffic to your website, look at the data and see what type of stories, the videos and images or maybe the lives are driving more clicks to your website and then do more of that. So again, number three, what type of stories are good for your account? And then the use the data for other type of social media content. And that's really good too. Instagram stories is a really interesting platform because you can get instant feedback, real time feedback in some cases from your audience. So take that feedback, go to the drawing board and implement that into the content that you have for other social media marketing channels like Facebook or Twitter. Now look at this example. So I created this Instagram story and my goal was to drive people to my YouTube channel. So I just said, let's connect on YouTube, swipe up and subscribe. So I was driving people to my YouTube link and then going back on the analytics for this story. So I swiped up and then I clicked on the bars. I could see how many link clicks I had, four. So this data is very, very valuable. So here are a couple of quick takeaways and then we will do a quick demo of Instagram story analytics. So don't ignore the story analytics. Look at the data, learn from the data. Number two is look for different patterns. What type of stories people like and what type of stories people don't like. And that's number three. When do people actually leave from your story? So don't do those in future. And then when do people click or what type of stories make people click so they go to their to your website and obviously you want to use the data for future decisions and now let's go to Instagram so let me bring my Instagram right here and then we will look at these analytics so I'm gonna go to my Instagram here's my account at Ali Mirza 2k and let's go to some of my stories so all of these stories I created today actually so if you swipe up on your stories, so you see all of this data. So for example, this story has a lot more views than this one because I have the location tag Dallas. Now click on those bars right here. So when I click on the bars, here is data that I'm looking for. So discovery, how many people I have reached with this story so far. I posted this a couple of hours ago. The navigation backs, how many people went back, how many people went forward, how many people went to the next story and exit it. Now, if you don't know what these means, you can just click on that blue, what do these means? And here is more description of these things. What are impressions reach, next stories, the number of tabs to the next account story. So you wanna pay attention to what type of stories make people click on the next story. That means they're, they're just going to the next person. And then forward is number of taps to see the next photo or video in your own story. And then exit is basically number of taps to leave your story. So I usually look at the exits, how many people are leaving my stories. And this story is does not have a link attached. That's actually the most important thing that I look at. If I have a link attached, I want to see how many people actually clicked on it. So there's a lot of cool data. You can start looking at the data for your own stories and then learn from that data. Now. I want to show you something else. If you you do know the stories disappear after 24 hours, but you can have access to data on stories that are older than 24 hours. It's really cool. So what you would do is go to your Instagram profile and then now click on the bars right here. And then we're going to go to content really quickly and then stories. Now look at this once this loads up. So on top showing impressions of stories posted in past 14 days. So now I have access to all of my stories and data 
in last 14 days. So this is how you can access the data on stories that are older than 24 hours. Very cool. So this is how you can access the Instagram story analytics, the data on your content and use that data to improve your content and marketing in the future.